Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show where you can find the free icons for your Adobe XD projects. So I'm going to list a few of my favorites. Um, the very first one is uh, the material icons from uh, Google, which uh, are uh, amazing and you can find them at material.io. And uh, as you can see, um, you're going to uh, see a lot of uh, different uh, material design characteristics and uh, if you go onto this website and you go under the tools um, this is going to redirect uh, to the main tools section and you can simply click on icons and you're going to find the entire library of uh, Google material icons which I think are really uh, amazing and uh, the really uh, good thing about these icons is that they work really well also on uh, mobile screens and uh, overall they are simple yet very effective. So the first thing uh, you can see is that you're going to view all the icons as they are but uh, you can also filter them by name. So if for example you want uh, a list icon you can simply um, type a list on this top left uh, search bar and uh, you're going to see all the associated icons with the list. And uh, if you want to uh, download one, you can simply click on it. And um, as you can see, you have uh, the options to uh, download it. In this case, we're going to download the SVG because it's uh, my go-to um, file format when it comes to UI design and the reason being is that SVGs are uh, really flexible and uh, great file format for the uh, for using um, in a UI design projects. So basically what I did um, it's uh, I downloaded it and um, as you can see I have the SVG in uh, the icon in the downloads um, folder and I can simply uh, click and drag the SVG icon into the canvas. So it's very, very easy, not time consuming at all. And um, I have the icon. And uh, if I double select it, um, and I uh, actually selected the path inside of it, I can change the fill. So as you can see, if I want to make it of uh, a similar blue to this one, I can do that very easily. I can simply select the eyedrop tool and select the exact uh, type of hue. I can also uh, make the transparency different and uh, I can apply borders, um, shadows and uh, all these uh, other um, features. So this is uh, my first suggestion. Um, so going on under material.io and uh, then slash tools and the slash icons and these are really, really good icons. Um, another tool, uh, another resource which uh, uh, I used uh, quite often is uh, Icon Finder. So this is a very big database of icons and uh, if you go ahead uh, and uh, search in the main search bar, um, you can see that you're going to find uh, a very um, varied range of uh, icons associated. So this is not um, uh, a place where you're going to find just one style of icon but you're going to see a, a variety and uh, some of them are premium meaning that uh, you have to pay a very small amount in this case it's two dollars each from what i'm seeing and um, but but you also have a lot of uh, free icons which uh, are really good and um, I mean, you have to be picky because depending on the project, some icon styles um, won't fit as well as others. But overall, um, there is quite uh, a big selection. So, and uh, if you want to, to download an icon, <clears throat> you can simply go under the uh, top files. So you can choose between SVG, PNG, GSH, AI, and uh, also more of them, such as uh, uh, the ones shown here and uh, I always going for the SVG so I can simply click on it the download uh, will happen automatically and uh, if I go back into Adobe XD 
and uh, in my downloads folder I can just do the same as I did before so I can just uh, drag it into the um, canvas and um, Adobe XD will uh, immediately pick up that icon. So this is uh, uh, it for Icon Finder. Another one which uh, I really like is Icons 8. And um, this is a very big library of icons. And um, yeah, I think uh, overall it's, uh, it's really nice. They have uh, uh, a lot of styles of icons. And um, yeah, I, re I really like them overall. And um, yeah, you can do exactly the same. You can even generate the HTML as I'm seeing now. And uh, you can download and uh, do exactly the same process as we did before. And um, yeah, there is a lot of flexibility in this website too. A lot of file uh, formats that uh, you can use for these icons. And um, as the previous website, there are some uh, paid icons and uh, other ones which are free. So depending on how much you're willing to invest for that specific project, um, you're going to find the best solution, um, one of the best solutions over here. And uh, the next website, uh, it's uh, actually a premium website, which uh, I uh, really like and I use uh, very often also for, uh, for downloading UI kits. And this is UI8. And uh, as you can see, if you browse under the main categories, you can see the icon sets. And uh, I'd say that most uh, of the icons over here are uh, premium icons, so you're, you'll need to pay for them. But these are really, really, um, you can really find some amazing icons. And um, yeah, the quality overall is just uh, very high. So um, this is definitely a, a website that uh, is worth checking. And they also have some freebies, so you might find uh, free icons over there too. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say that if you're actually willing to invest uh, a lot uh, in uh, a project, uh, I would definitely suggest you to check out uh, UI8 because the icons over here are amazing. Um, so yeah, overall, um, I would suggest uh, these four resources. Of course, there are many other uh, out there, but uh, these are usually the ones uh, that uh, I use uh, for all of my projects and uh, that I use uh, more often. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.